Okay, so we got to start off with the queen, Nicki Minaj, the queen of rap, because she confirmed my tea that I spilt last year in regards to the City Girls. Okay? Now, she said that she heard a song and she had reached out to them, but that was not recently. Okay, she said that was years and years ago. Okay, this was before that twerkulator nonsense, before their album got leaked, okay? But then she saw old tweets and interviews of them saying how they were Team Cardi. Well, actually, it was Carisha that said that she was Team Cardi, and that's why she got blocked, okay? And Little Yachty also said that, and they all doubled back. Lil Yachty was begging Drake for Nikki to unblock him. And Carisha was begging social media to get Nikki to unblock her too. Okay. Now, with that being said, if you guys did not watch my video, if you're new to the channel, basically, I had did an exclusive on the City Girls, how they were begging in 2020 for a feature from Nicki Minaj. Okay, after she went number one with Dolce Cat. But little do they know, Nikki already had been um, watching them. Okay, because even though Nikki don't say anything, she's still watching on the scene. And she saw all these tweets and the interview they did on The Breakfast Club where Carisha was like, I'm Team Cardi. JT told Nikki to sit down. In several tweets, okay? And so, basically, they have ruined that chance. Same thing with Lil Nas X. Now, here's the thing. They had asked Nikki multiple times, okay? They reached out to her um, in 2020. Then they reached back out, allegedly. And from what I was hearing, they were going to offer her money. Now, it wasn't going to be 500 k but they were going to offer her a bag. Okay, and then once they saw that she was getting cool with QC and Little Baby, allegedly they reached out again. But this goes to show you how people always double back when they see that Nicki Minaj is winning. And I said that several times in 2021 when those lawsuits were taken over the scene and everybody said Nicki Minaj was done. I was like, just watch in 2022 when she's everywhere and she's topping the charts. Here come people trying to, you know, get on her good side. Okay. That always happens. People love you and support you when it's beneficial. That's what Nicki Minaj said. I do not believe the city thoughts deserve a Nicki Minaj collaboration. They not that talented anyway. If she collaborates with them then people are going to say, wow, like she's a sucker. You can say anything about Nikki and she'll still work with you. So Nikki needs to put her foot down and she really should only be showing people love that show love back and did not flip during the hate train like the City Thoughts and Lil Nas X and Little Yachty. Lesson learned, stop picking sides if you're a female rapper and remain neutral between um, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B because now Cardi B pays the city thoughts dust. Okay. Moving on to Rihanna. A lot of fans are speculating that she might be having a girl cause she wore a pink coat with her photo shoot with, um, ASAP the colorist, but I find their relationship to be a little bit weird. I don't know what it is. Um, she didn't even post any of her pregnancy pictures. And in recent years, Rihanna doesn't really post anything personal like that. But at the end of the day, I feel like what was the point of doing a photo shoot with a paparazzi? And if you're not going to post them, what was the point? Like, I don't get it. It's almost like she's not really in love with ASAP Rocky. That's what I'm getting. I don't feel like she really is in love with ASAP Rocky. I feel like she just wanted a child and he's there for the moment. Okay. I just find it odd that, you know, obviously somebody in Rihanna's team called paparazzi. They take the photos, but you're not even going to post them on your page. Okay. You did all of that. 
Okay. So to me, it just like their relationship is odd. I feel like, you know, he loves her more than she loves him. And I feel like if Rihanna meets somebody else, she would definitely leave ASAP the colorist. Okay. Um, do I feel like he's better than Drake? No, I don't know why Drake is getting clowned. ASAP the colorist really ain't no better. Okay. And plus he's going to be mooching off of Rihanna. Okay. Um, uh, what does ASAP Rocky do now? Nobody knows what he does. His music is not selling. Okay. Nobody cares about his fashion sense. So like my whole thing is ASAP Rocky hit the lottery. Like I said, he would a few weeks ago. Okay. ASAP Rocky hit the jackpot. He knocked up Rihanna. Um, and even if he don't work for the rest of his life, he can just rely on Rihanna to take care of him. Okay. Um, to me, um, they are a weird ass couple. I don't really get it. Moving on. What the fuck is going on with Summer Walker? Now she debuted this Britney Spears, um, hairstyle. Honestly, I think Summer Walker is secretly going through it because there's no way she thought that hairstyle was good, okay? I think she's going through her Britney Spears phase, okay? She doesn't know what she wants to do in life. And yes, Summer Walker has always been weird, but she know damn well that hairstyle looks a hot mess, okay? I think that we need to pray for Summer Walker because something is going on with her, okay? Now, she had a good year in 2021, but sometimes, you know, it's not what we see on social media, okay? And I feel like, you know, London on the track, he might not be the best baby daddy. He might be stressing her out, you know, because technically she's a single parent. And even though she got a new boo thing, I mean, what does he really do? Okay, nobody really knows this guy. So with that being said... Um, I feel like Summer Walker is going through it. I really don't feel like Summer Walker really wants to be in the industry like that. Every time she drops an album, she disappears. She removes herself off the scene. Unless, you know, her album rollout is near an award show, okay? Um, but I feel like she kind of disappeared after her last album. You know, she didn't even really do shows like that. And people were doing shows. Lil Nas X was doing shows. Um, Doja Cat was doing shows. But then again, Summer Walker is not vexed. And that's probably why she wasn't doing shows like that. But praying for Summer Walker. She might be going through a Britney Spears phase. That hairstyle is ugly. She needs to go back to the drawing board. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.